establishing the National uh, Council for Media in Egypt. That was a conference talking about this uh, topic and delivered to us, brought to us by now today's correspondent, Abir Mutwali. And right now, it's the Queens of Egypt. We earlier mentioned in our intro that uh, leading women always uh, come from Egypt and they are the driving force in society during the revolutions here from contemporary revolutions or even in, in, uh, during the, the uh, ancient Egyptian time. And today we talk about the ancient Egyptian queen, the famous uh, woman who made history here in this country, uh, had to shoot Nefertiti, Nefertari, and Cleopatra. We also know she, the wife of uh, Pharaoh Amin Hotem, uh, the third mother of uh, Akhenaten, and many other leading women that probably many Egyptians uh, haven't uh, read about or uh, tourists haven't seen. But Egypt, uh, the history of Egypt is full of the stories of many leading women, uh, great uh, inspiring stories about those uh, women who made history. Very delighted to have with us Dr. Ismail Hamid, author and historian with uh, many more. Dr. Hello and how are you doing? Uh, thank you, Dr. Thank you. Hello, Dr. Uh, would you please shed some light on the uh, most famous Egyptian, uh, ancient uh, Egyptian queens in the history of Egypt? Okay, so first of all, thanks for your invitation. Uh, um, I would like to uh, express my um, uh, my impression about the value and the position of the women in general during the ancient Egyptian time. I can say, and this is not just in my words, but the words of the Western uh, uh, Egyptologists, that they said that the women during that time has a special, uh, special value, better than any other uh, position or values of the other uh, civilizations in Egypt. Uh, some of them, one like uh, Lord Durant, the author of the story of civilization, he said that the Egyptian society, it was a female society. So female society because he said this uh, more uh, detailed, that he said that the woman was more stronger than the man during that time. And I wondered about that position. And for me, uh, not just London, because I'm a specialist, uh, even for the story of women. I have four books wrote, uh, written about the women. One of them about the queens of ancient Egypt, one of them about the queens in the whole world, one of them about the uh, women of prophets and the women of companions of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So four books about the position of them. So uh, for me, um, I like that, uh, uh, that, uh, that very fly that we have in Egypt and about the appreciation of the role of women during that time. I can say also that Egypt presented for the whole human history the first known uh, woman uh, known in history was the courts. Okay? We have the queen or the wife of the king uh, Narmer. She's called Nut Hotep. She is the first woman in history that we know. We don't talk about the whole books about Quran and the words teaching about Aaron and that story. And we talk about the courts and the history. So we have this queen Nut Hotep and she, she is an old divinity of that time. She was a divinity or a goddess or goddess of protection. Hotter, it means satisfied. So this queen, she was the first queen that we know of the whole human history uh, recorded or uh, was inscriptions. Uh, Lama, as we know, or Linus, is the father of the first pharaonic dynasty. Just uh, a few centuries after, we have another queen which is was uh, very famous. She is the real king. She is the first woman to ascend the throne of any uh, 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 empire. She was the queen of Egypt and a ruling queen, not just a queen, or a wife of Pharaoh or a king, but she was a ruling or a pharaoh that ascended the throne of Egypt and ruled Egypt for a few years. So, great and neat. So, we talk about 3000 BC. More than 5000 years ago, we had a ruling queen during that time. So, some say that. But, uh, I should be proud of this because till now, uh, even in Europe, that there's still a doubt about the ability or the capacity of women that she could rule or not. And I think we can remind, for example, the American election, the last one of Obama was Hillary Clinton. Mm -hmm. What is real and true? Yes. And uh, look about this comparison. Uh, Hillary Clinton, the woman with experiences and very famous women. And on the other side, Obama is African, with African origin and a man that uh, lots of people that they will not satisfied of him, but they elected at the end of that story Obama because he is a man, not a woman. And even Sidney and Hawaii and 
Sufis, the Sufis, she was very famous woman and very intelligent woman, very smart, but uh, uh, they lifted Sufis on the other side. Since so that, uh, uh, till now, even that they talk about the women and the physician world, but also they still doubt of that. But in the Pharaonic time, I can say that we counted more than seven queens that they were ruling the Egypt during that time. Seven queens. The first one, as I said, that is Marie Kate. This is from the first dynasty. We have during the first dynasty, the King Kent Kaos. King Kaos, she is a daughter of a pyramid in Giza. She was the daughter of the King Nicolaus, and uh, uh, his or her family is considered to be the first pyramid of Giza. So we have close to Kefra Nicolaus and the pyramid of Kent Kaos. It is just a small pyramid behind the sinks to the left side. This is from the first dynasty. From the sixth dynasty, we have another famous queen, which is called the Queen Nitocris. And we also, we also have some photos shown of us here uh, that might be uh, explaining what you're saying. Yes. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. So, for the sixth dynasty, also we have Nitocris. So they show us some of the pictures there. We have also from the twelfth dynasty, the Queen Sidi Kifu. She was the last queen of the twelfth dynasty. Uh, and after that, from the 18th dynasty, we have the Queen Hatshepsut. Mm -hmm. And after that, we have another queen during the 19th century, the Queen Tower Sut. And then we have the last queen of uh, uh, the ancient history of Egypt, the Cleopatra, the one which is the most famous queen of the ancient history. Mm -hmm. So, I don't see where. Right. Ah, but, uh, 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 right. But the uh, best question is, how do you justify among uh, most universities in all countries since the beginning of uh, life on Earth that uh, ancient Egypt in particular and Islamic Egypt also uh, wants the, the, the record of the, 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 the greatest numbers of women who have led um, taken, um, taken over leading and decision-making positions and have achieved have fought battles, decisive battles, and have uh, uh, taken over countries. And uh, I mean, how, what does that justify? I mean, why, why is it the ancient Egyptians? They what justify justifies? the uh, the neglection of women, just of the Pharaonic civilization. Okay, that a push. Is it the culture of ancient? This is the part. This is the part of the culture of the people. But this is um, a male society, as we can say for the other people, a male society. That there is no other for other countries, but for other countries, but I don't talk about Egyptian mm -hmm. civilization for others. And even for them, we didn't know uh, famous names of queens at that time. Maybe, for example, we know uh, the story of Olympias. She was uh, the mother, for example, of the great. But the historians, or the Greek historians, they talk about her in a negative way. She was um, a very strange woman, a woman that was playing, uh, playing with the snakes and cobras. So, Philippe the second the king who was um, uh, not satisfied with her way so he let her or abandoned her and he wanted to marry another uh, woman or uh, a young girl so she killed him. So it is a very negative way about the, the, the position of the woman. Even the war of Troy, the very famous war in the Greek history, it was because of uh, the uh, women that uh, uh, fled with the prince of the other country so it was the reason of the war of that time. So it's a very negative way. And even for the Greeks and the women, uh, women was just a value for them. So that was only the value of women for them? Yes, for them. So uh, it's a part of the only an object. Uh, what? Only an object. Yes. But this is for them, it's a mineral. Just to the man who is uh, uh, the principal element of the whole life, who is controlling everything. Women, this is, we talk about the third and the fourth uh, 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 position after that. So there's no value. It's a kind of negation for women. That is different of what we have in Egyptian history and also as you said that in Islam. We have for example sugar to death. That is an amazing example of women, that very smart woman uh, uh, that could uh, after uh, the death of the king Saleh Majibi, who was the last sultan of the Ayyubi dynasty, who was dead during the battle of al -Masura. So she was very smart woman. She did not tell the story of his death to the people or the soldiers that they are in the field of war for not to uh, be negative to them, so uh, she uh, hid it, uh, hid this till the uh, victory of the Egyptian army. After that, she declared the death of the king, and so her son uh, came from uh, from uh, Syria and to be uh, the king uh, 
after his father. So this is true. I'm telling you, compare the role of women in Egypt during the ancient Egyptian times and nowadays. I think it's uh, entirely different. During the Pharaonic time or ancient times, women were very stimulated, appreciated by the people, very active. Even that we have some pictures, but they could show us lots of uh, representations and see, show that the woman, she's a part of the man, a part of side by side, in his activities of life, work with him on the fields, work with him everywhere, and she is beside him every time. If he made a statue for himself, he made a statue for his woman. She's showing him everything for the life. And we have really queens, as we said, that low, uh, or more than seven queens that were fairly of that time. But now, uh, just women, they, uh, they talk about the story, or they talk about the past. But we don't, we don't see activities of women. We don't see lots of things. Maybe it's a part of the culture of the society. Yes, this How is a main part. How did this take place uh, by time? Yeah, this really need to change the culture of Cuba, first of all. And at the same time, the role of women should be more, uh, 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 more active, active, activized, or more uh, uh, active, more than this. It just for us now, we see the women in what? It just in films. Uh, this is my appreciation to their role as actresses. But not just of this, dancers, uh, not something like that. It's not only the role of the women. We, we need inventors. We need uh, women that they need some support that could be appreciated. Not just of the, uh, of the topic, uh, things in the mentality of the people that could be like that to show the beauty of women. No, it's not just like that. Even the historians now, they talk about Cleopatra, she was not very beautiful woman, but she was very smart and intelligent woman. And uh, uh, tried to make Egypt as the biggest empire of the world. Even that to Rome at that time became as the dominant uh, power of the world. So Caesar, Mark and Anthony, and all these stories were just about the beauty of Cleopatra, but because of her intelligence and uh, the smartness of this woman. So I think uh, women uh, uh, related to the culture and the what is the women uh, women is doing now in, in the society and behavior should be more active and more positive, not just of the uh, negative imagination of the people uh, for the beauty. But and how did uh, this negative imagination or uh, this kind of attitude for women develop throughout time? I, I know that it's hard and it needs time, but uh, I think for the women themselves, okay, for the streets, just we look at the clothes of women, we look about the uh, makeup, we look about this, but it's not just women at this moment, if it's women, it is from the heart of women and the works of women that could be uh, uh, on, the, on the field. If we talk about, for example, the women of the in Algeria, if we talk about John Bark and the history of France, if we talk about lots of women that made great uh, uh, role in the history, if we talk about Santa Helena, uh, it is in the Roman Empire, a woman that uh, 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 became uh, divinized by the people, that is because of the works of the women, not just of anything else. Thank you, Dr. Ismail Hamid Asir, and so we would like to thank you very much uh, for your very uh, valuable and uh, smart uh, insights about the ancient Egyptian history. Thank you for coming. And um, Dina, I guess uh, this brings us to the end of this edition of the Breakfast Show. Thank you, Dina. Thank you, sir. Uh, with this, uh, our dear viewers, we wrap up this edition of the Breakfast Show. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for more coming up here in our Sudan International.